Preparing for Hurricane Milton, people are still recovering from the damage of Hurricane Helene. Workers with the Carthage Water and Electric Plant traveled to Tallahassee to respond to the damage from Helene. KOIM's Melissa Alexis has more. These folks are on boots on the ground immediately responding to the emergency. Linemen from Carthage Water and Electric Plant in Carthage traveled to Tallahassee before Hurricane Helene hit in anticipation of the damage. A lot of tall, 80, 100 foot tall pine trees that are down. Uh, obviously, they drag everything down with them. The lineman's main focus was to help Tallahassee residents regain power. Through the night, you hear the, the wind and the rain, you know, uh, you do hear that some. You're a little bit sheltered just because of the hotel you're in or wherever it is you're staying. Uh, and then when we woke up the next morning, we had 53,000 people out of power. CWEP sent six linemen to Tallahassee to help out with Helene, and now they have four linemen in Orlando to help with Hurricane Milton. It takes a lot of time for the water in Orlando to d dissipate to get to a point where they can actually go in and, and make some of the um, needed repairs. It'd be devastating. Milton looks like it is. It could turn. It just kind of depends on, uh, you know, so they're, they're afraid of water, they're afraid of wind and trees. Crews from Carthage Water and Electric Plant worked 16-hour days working to restore power to the affected areas. Reporting in Carthage, Melissa Alexis, KOAM News. Members of the Carthage Water and Electric Plant crew left uh, Missouri on Monday to go to Orlando and respond to Hurricane Milton. Now.